today I'm going to talk to you about March of the Eagles. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the game, it's um, a new game we're developing. It's set in the Napoleonic Wars, running from 1805 to 1815. And it's kind of a tight focused war game on the 10 years Napoleonic War. So it's set in Europe. You have the eight major powers battling out for dominance across land and sea. And the way you do this is to control provinces. And what we've done is that each country has, each of the major powers has different provinces to control. So what it allows is like alliances convenience. Because although only one of you can win, um, both of you may want to take provinces off the same country, but different ones. So there's plenty of opportunities for alliances and backstabbing in the game. But also, for those of you who maybe have been keeping an eye on the game, I thought I'd talk today about one of your favourite questions, the supply system. Because what we've done with March of the Eagles is kind of created a hybrid supply system between Europa Universalis and Hearts of Iron 3, so that each province has a support limit, which is how many men can eat in the province before you start starving. But, you know, food is not enough for an army, even though Napoleon did say an army marched on his stomach. So we also have supplies which covers things like you know muskets, ammunition, um, reinforcements, pay and each region of your country will generate supplies and then you know armies in the region will then consume them and then what happens is that supplies will transfer from region to other regions so if you have a chain of allies say stretching to Russia then as France you can invade Russia and the supplies will flow through but if one of, the country, one of your allies is rather small, then it's going to form a bottleneck and then you've got to start trying to think going, well, do I try and get access through Austria and then I can start my supplies flowing. You know, the idea being that, you know, the neither kind of supply system on its own fitted the Napoleonic era where, you know, I mean, more men died outside combat than did. So, you know, you need that kind of idea that some provinces are just simply too poor to support troops. And at the same time, you do want those kind of, you know, how many men can I really sustain, you know, because, you know, musket balls are expensive. And, well, we've also added in one additional new special unit for the military system, which is the supply train. And it in itself doesn't consume any supplies, but it will carry a large number of supplies for your armies. Meaning that if you're going to march off into hostile territory, if you stack, if you build a few supply trains with your units, then you can abandon your supply line for, you know, a few months, conquer what you have to conquer, and then hopefully get back to your supply bases in time for you guys not to starve.